You ever wake up at 5 a.m. and say, did I diagnose that car right? And then you can't go back to sleep. Besides, it's almost time to get up anyways. So you decide to come to work and double check what you think you already double checked yesterday. Well, that happened to me. And I don't know why, but it did. I'm second guessing myself on a Diag. 2005 Chevrolet. The dinger works. Colorado. It's a no crank, no start. Does not crank, does not start. Okay. Ignition switch seems fiddly. I wiggled all the jiggly bits and it does weird things. So I'm like, ah, it's got to be the ignition switch. I did a couple quick checks on it yesterday. And that's was what I came up with. But I woke up in a frantic, in a panic, in a frantic panic. And said, did you diag that right, you big dummy? So here we are. I'm going to rerun through my checks real quick because for some reason... I was thinking I did something wrong. Here's our ignition switch. I have our column covers off. You can see it does not start. There are no codes. Everything else seems as it should. It won't crank. The theft light is on solid, but no code. So I'm like, eh, all right. So let's just double check this. We should have a full-time power. I got my diagram over here. I'll pop it up on the screen if I can, if I can do that and it doesn't hinder the video here. Let's see, full-time power is going to be pin number two. So this is the white with the black stripe. Okay, full-time power on, cranking, off, loud buzzing at 5 a.m. Good, okay. We're gonna go down through each pin. Pin numero uno, number one, should be accessory and run. Make sure I'm in the hole. Ooh, I am. Accessory. Ooh, see that? There's accessory. There's run. Nothing in crank. But if we crank it, let off it. Accessory run off. Accessory run on. Okay, so that one works. Okay, that's pin two. Pin three, which is white with green. Should be, white with green, should be run and start. There's run, start. Yeah, that's right. Back to run, start, run. We got nothing, let's go like this. Oh, she is angry with that position. So that's the run position right there. What if I do this? Hey, look at that. Now it works. So run, start, we got nada. Zero zippo nada. So she will not crank in that position. Okay. For some reason I was thinking I was overlooking it. Now the next wire, we're gonna go to the very top. This is going to be our five volt reference. This is white with yellow pin five from the BCM. Cause this has our anti-theft jiggly bits in it too. So let's go into that hole. 5.06 volts. Next wire down pin four. Okay, this is where I was contemplating myself. Pin number four, this is white with blue. Key in, we should have 12 volts. This is going to be our key in switch. And we do. And that's where we get our dinger. Okay, this is a multiplexed wire. Because this is a single wire that runs a couple different voltages to the BCM. So key in, 12 volts. Did my voice just squeak? Am I going through puberty again? Run, we should have 5 volts. And we do. But when we crank, this is where it's going to go through the pass lock sensor and we should have a value less than 5 volts of something. And on this particular vehicle we have 1.8 volts in the crank position. Okay, 1.8. Perfect. In theory, what wire did we say was not working correctly? The one in start and run, pin number 3. So that's pin 3. White, white with green. Oh, 
that's the one that should be hot and run and start, but it's not. So technically, let's go like this. Let's turn this gal dang buzzer off. Okay, if we go to run, and we supply that with power, we should be able to crank the engine. Of course, when we let go of it, until we get it to supply its own power, let's try that again. Run, let's give her some juice. <laughs> guy just needs a power probe. Son of a hoo -ha. It should stay running if we get it to supply its own voltage. There we go. All right, now it stays running on its own. Jeez. And the theft light is out. Hallelujah. I'm right. Jeez, now I can go back home and go to bed because it's only 5.15. Not really. I just wanted to verify that. Gosh. Well, I feel a whole lot better despite having to come in a tad bit early. Uh, last night when I checked this out before I went home, I didn't do a bypass test on it and I was, frankly, I was tired. So I just wanted to come in, double check, make sure I was right. We are Napa. Not a sponsor. Has a new switch coming for us when they get there in another three hours. And then they'll bring that to us. We'll get the switch swapped out. Now we are going to have to go through a security relearn once we get it because like I say that the five volt reference going in and then coming out at that lower value, that's a unique value which is determined in the switch, whichever you know resistor it runs through, which I don't know how many, you know, hundreds of different ones they have, but basically we put that switch in, we turn the key on and go to start it, the BCM is gonna be like, whoa! Who are you? Uh, I don't know you, and I ain't starting. That's what it's gonna say, if it could talk. So we'll do that little process, and then this thing should be back in business. Yeehaw, if we're doing this one outside. I got us a pair of device grips. The switch showed up. I don't even remember where we left off, but it has a uh, shear bolt up here on the top. Typically, you take a Dremel tool, and you cut a little slot in them, and spin little guys right out. The battery in my Dremel tool is dead. So we're gonna see if we can just get a hold of it with these. Usually you get them loose, they come out, it's spinning. Hopefully it's not gonna be hard all the way. There we go, we're going plan B. I'm gonna use a little twist socket here. Oftentimes this works. which one we need. Ooh, that one feels like she's grippy. We already got it broke loose, so. That'll do it. Of course, the column covers are off because we already had the bottom half off. They're chewing up our road out here. We're getting a new row ad. They got a big honking machine. Grinding her up. And they say it's going to be about a month before they come back. We're going to have about a six or eight inch drop off here out of our parking lot. So that should be fun. Oh crap. Looks like we're going to need some more tools. There's that. There's your anti-theft shear bolt. Easy to steal if you got the right tools. And then look see here it appears to be attached to that donger so we will need a torx bit a couple two up here and one down around the corner don't tell me I gotta pull the stinking steering wheel Oh, you little stinking, stink piss pot, I think I do. Probably should have looked in service info. I don't remember pulling the steering wheel on these. Grr. That's the big thing chewing up all the blacktop. Loading in the dump trucks. And they have a mountain of it. 
Anywho. Against my better judgment, I'm gonna take these screws out, but I'm pretty certain that we have to pull the steering wheel. And I wanted to do this outside because after we get this in, it ain't gonna run for about a half hour and I don't want it sitting in my bay. So I got some other stuff I wanna do. You can watch him for a little while. More exciting. So it is true, we do have to pull the steering wheel. I gotta find the hole. I have to use a mirror. Never had to do that. That's really loud. Ever in. I can feel it. Is that the appropriate screw? It is. He's got the, these are spring clips. What the, what the heck am I kidding? Let me tell you what. I tell you what. These things are a double donger spring retainer. Not your, I want to say not your typical. The other single spring GM ones are a heck of a lot easier. I cannot seem to get these through the access hole. So I am going to pull the other screw out this inner shroud. If I can get in there. This way we can push this inner shroud back a little bit. I'll show you. Once the airbag's off, it's a little easier, but what a piss pot. Alright, so I'll take that screw out. Got the shroud loose. These are a stinker. Uh, I know you can't see much from your angle. Let me see if I can move you. Doody do, I hate my job. Some days, push really freaking hard. Release. Oh, come on, you son of a hoo -ah. God, there's half of it. Then you gotta come over and do the other half. There's four pe pegs on this one. And if you pull wrong, they all snap back in, so don't pull the wrong way. There, by golly, we got it. That was easy. Gee whiz. So then we have to unplug the old horn. And then the dreaded airbag sit way back in the seat. <sighs> Nothing. Woo! She didn't explode. So there's your four latches on the back, and there's a wire retainer on each one. And supposedly, there's some miraculous way you can push them and tweak them. Not this guy. My wheel's straight. My wheels are straight. We got to get a, uh, a socket here to take the steering wheel off, and then we can take our clock spring business off. Uh, and then I'll show you how what those spring clips. We're gonna we're gonna have to examine this thing from the back side. First try. <laughs> Grab an extension. What's the matter with your brain? I did not bring a steering wheel puller. We'll see if we got it in us. Sometimes you can give them just a little wiggle. See if there's any identifying marks on it. There's a mark on the shaft. And is she keyweighed? It appears to be keyweighed. Okay, so we ain't got to worry about that. Before you go pulling on it, make sure you put the nut on, otherwise you're gonna catch it in the chest. Oh, it wasn't even tight. Usually you give them a little torque. Yeah, 
Yeah, she is. It's got one solid tooth. So there's your little spring releasers. Now what I was doing, because all you can see through the access holes, these top two little dongers here, which supposedly you use a blunt stroking device, they say, and you come through this hole right here and you push down with a blunt tool teeter-tottering on that and then you push down and then you release it which is fine I just loosen the shroud and come down here and give it a push but trying to do that not have your screwdriver slip off a half a dozen times is a little difficult so we'll uh, the screws I took out were right here so we'll put them back in I'll do that now so I don't forget and then uh, we'll pull the rest of this rigmarole off here. We don't want to go winding up our clock springs, so don't go twirling that too much. You can watch this guy while I'm doing this. No longer going to have a water hole out there, I'm told. Or like the two foot drop off when you pull in by the car wash over here. That'll be nice. Oh man, I got slimed. This thing. Enough slack. There it is. Don't twirl it, okay? Just resist the urge. Let me unplug our ignition switch. That's a free scrap metal? Yes, sir. I'll bring a check. Probably like a tenth of a penny or something. At least. Oh, I see. <laughs> hey, why don't it come off? Let's see here. Too much stuff to watch outside. It's got a shift interlock here, must be. Yes, sir. There's that thing. We've got to get a little torque spin. Hey, Marie! Marie! Now we're waiting on Marie to get us some torque screwdrivers. We'll take our little plate off. Let's have a gander at our new one while we're waiting. Looks about right. Got to swap our lock cylinder over. Wonder why they don't just sell you the switch itself. Let's see what you got there, young lady. Let me make sure it's right before you disappear. Or just walk away, one or the other. There you go. At least we were right. So we'll pull this little plate off. I honestly don't remember doing it like this before. I think it's the newer ones I've done. No, I've done these. In my former life, I don't know. I don't remember too much. We're got too many different kinds. Whoa, 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 we need to save that. So there she is. There's the old one. There's our clampy. I forgot my knife. I've used yours. Oh, we forgot your knife, huh? Coming yep. to work unprepared. Thanks. You got your work boots? Yeah, got my work boots. All right. So, let's see, we need to get the lock cylinder out, which typically involves a key. Turn the key on, see if the button pushes. Oh, it does. There gotta be an accessory. That pushes further an accessory. Try to do this. Slide on out, fella. There it is. <laughs> Whoop, there it is. All right, are they in the same position? They are. So we should be able to just slip this little guy right back in. Slip it in the right way though, fella. Make sure it's an accessory. There it is. 
once it's in accessory, you can push the release button. Off you can't. On you can't. Only an accessory. Slip it in. We're good to go. And then that is your steering column lock right there. Where's the steering column lock in this one? Did somebody take out all of its jiggly bits? It ain't stuck in there. Maybe it didn't have a steering column lock. This one doesn't have it. This one, however, does. So, we'll stick this back on. lined up just so. Do we not have the right one? That looks the same. What am I missing? Oh, there she goes. Okay, yeah, it just wasn't in the hole. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Get in there. There. Oh, she's tight coming up in that lock column. Okay. There's that. Bear with me, folks. New shear bolt. Don't you just want to see what's going on out here? I'll show you in a minute. Did that bring a screwdriver? It did. This takes uh, E6. God! Ain't got enough in me. Got enough traction. Do we want to snap it off? Before you snap it off, you better figure it out. There's that. Let's put these screws back in. It's literally shaking the ground. I'm gonna plug our switch, well, no I'm not. Take that back. No, uh, we're gonna snap it off now. There we go. Just broke the head off the bolt. And I suppose we can. Great, here comes the freaking rain. Again, it's been raining for like the fifth day in a row. I'm gonna plug our switch back in over here on the other side. We're gonna have to close the door. Let's move this. Stick this over here. Oh man, it's freaking pouring now. Whew. Just in time. Oh, we got everything in here we need. We'll hang out while it rains. Guys are getting wet. They don't care. They're running for cover. They're all heading to the car wash. <laughs> so we're gonna line this back up. This is our clock screen. Get our bolts back in here. Oh, you guys are all enhanced. You're all super zoomed in. Not even looking at you. Oh, everything just came to a halt. 
Must be they're all made out of sugar. So that's what me mom used to say. You made out of sugar? You ain't gonna melt. There's that. There's one down here. In the lower left hand corner. There's that one, and that one, and that one. Got that thing. We have our shift interlock cable down here. That's gonna go in the hole. That's back in. Make sure everything still works here. And it does. All right, rain's over. That lasted all in about two seconds. Uh, what do we need now, fella? Steering wheel. Stick all this back in there. Yep, that only goes on one way, and it aligns with your clock spring too, so don't don't go forcing it. Should have a nut here somewhere. So. Tighten that up. Should be a ratchet somewhere. So down here in the floor. Steering wheel locks now. Make sure it unlocks before we get too excited. Should. All right. Even our airbags get rusty. There's that one. That one. that one. Line her up in the hole. Sit way back in the seat. Oh, no. <laughs> Fail. Then sit way back. Okay. The hard part's done. Upper column cover. Oh, hold the brakes. These people must not know we're trying to do a film production. This is like SMA Extreme. There's that. And then we'll get the bottom one back on here. Find out what I did with the screws for it. So this just has clips along the edges. These little guys here, it just pretty much snaps on. Then there's three screws at the three screws at the bottom. It goes around the box cylinder. Ooh, felt like I was rolling. Oh, you dip sugar. You gotta put it around the, uh, that little thing. The, uh, tilt lever first. Back. Don't worry, folks. It's my first day. Hey, 
there. Now she clicked. Alright, I'll find the screws for that. One, two, three. You got three of them, they're shoulder. They go on the bottom side. I ain't gonna bore you with that. Everybody's sleeping already. I jumped out under the hood. Didn't really jump. More like a shuffle. A little truffle shuffle. You guys remember that from Goonies? <laughs> Chunk did the truffle shuffle. I used to have a friend in school that could do that. It was hilarious. Haven't got, got no dinger. Oh, there we go. So we should have a dinger. Uh, I'm going to start it. It should not run. It should start and stall. In which case, we're going to leave the key on for 10 minutes until the security light goes out. And we'll shut it off. Attempt to start it again. Let it sit there with the key on for another 10 minutes. Total of three times for 30 minutes. So let's see. Yep. We got a flashing security light. So I'm just going to leave the key on for the time being. Until my security light quits flashing. Uh, I'm going to put the rest of the kibbles and bits together. At least it cranks now. You know, we know we made the right call. And uh, as soon as that's on flashing, like I say, shut it off. Turn it back on. Crank it again, leave it in the run position, quit flashing, shut it off, turn it on, crank it, leave it in the run position. After the third time, shut it off, it should start on the fourth time. Do we have a time? Do we know what time it is? This clock says 12.01, well that's nice. So we'll, uh, at 12.11, we'll come back. It just went out, so it blinks, stays solid, goes out. So now I will shut the key off. Give it a couple seconds. Try to start it, leave it in the run position, and we wait. Well, I did throw a battery charger on it just for poop and laughter. We should be able to go in here. Oh, look, I can see you. You can see me. Uh, we should be able to go in here and see the Theptoterra timer counting down. I believe it's under engine controls. Live data. Uh, I think data three. We're going to take a big shot guess here. See what we have. There we go. Look at me. I'm sometimes. So we got timer is active fuel disabled I thought they actually had like a countdown timer huh I knew they used to in the past maybe that's in the body module let me do some poking so in the body module under security I don't recall is it 50 that's not 56 seconds because we've been what since we've done it yeah, maybe. It was probably 2.12-ish. So we'll see. We'll uh, we'll leave it like this. Just in case you're wondering, sometimes you can go in and look at the time in on the data. Was it 6,000 seconds or whatever we got to go? Not sure what the uh, designation is. I guess it's, what, 600 seconds. What did I say? 6,010 times 60. Yeah, 600 seconds is what we would have to wait. Don't know what the 2.43 seconds is. No idea. It does show it in auto learn. Our light is out, so we will shut the key off. This should be a one last hoorah. I do have the battery charger on just in case. All right, we'll let her go one last time. Let her start counting up. And then it should run. We got to be just about finished here, folks. And there she's on steady. Now the important part here, do not try to start it. You gotta make god dang sure you shut it back off. And give it a classic creature on here for you so you can watch. Shut it off. Make sure you shut it off. So it says ignition off, okay? Ignition on. Like 
lights off. All the lights are off, well, except the flash here back light, but that was on. So make sure you shut it off on that third attempt because if you just go straight up trying to start it, you're gonna screw yourself. So, there we are. That's happy. This is happy. The guy who owns it should be happy. Yeah, it doesn't matter which key you use because it's all, you know, it's in that ignition switch. All right, another Chevrolet lives to die another day. That'll do it, folks. Oh, bottom screen. Done with this one. On to the next one. Got some wheel bearing action going on in there and pulling heads off a Hemi. A another Hemi. Different Hemi. All kinds of stuff going on here. Um, so that's it. Hopefully this video went fluidly, fit together. I know my angles ain't the best. Uh, I've got to get a different type of tripod. I know you guys like tripod. I hate this thing. It's too big and bulky and stupid. I like my old one I had. So I'm going to get that one again. You're going back on the tool cart. That's all there is to it. So you'll have to deal with it. And um, I guess that's it. If you don't like that, make sure you go down in the comment box. Leave your questions, comments, criticisms, concerns you may have. And while you're down there, subscribe, ring the bell, and uh, have a nice day. And all that stuff. So just remember, viewers, if I can do it, you can do it. Thanks for watching.